Hey Dons, and welcome back to the ATV News. I'm Christmas Macropolis. And I'm Zeke Kastner, bringing you the news for this week. Today we'll be going over girls volleyball, a student spotlight with our member from our community, the CIE program, and a trailer for the upcoming play. And then there were none. But first, let's go to some announcements. If anyone is interested in trying out for the Batman team, there will be a meeting on Tuesday, October 26th in the NPR during lunch. Attend if you are interested in trying out for this spring season. On the topic of sports, let's see what the girls volleyball team has been up to. I would describe volleyball in, in simple terms, I would describe it as um, it's a game against two teams <laughs> with a ball <laughs> and a net. <laughs> Uh, yeah. that, okay. It's definitely a team sport, and then like the basics, I kind of think everybody knows the rules. In case you are unaware of the rules of volleyball, let's do a quick refresher. Volleyball is played on a court with six players on each side, with three in the back row and three in the front row, with a net separating the two sides. Goal of the game? Don't let the ball drop on your side of the court while doing everything possible to make the ball drop on the other side. And if you succeed, your team gets a point. Each team only has three hits to attempt to gain a point, and each start of a point begins with the team who gained the last point and the ball to the other side. And with that, the game is afoot. These foundations create a game that is... Fun, exciting, and dynamic. Volleyball is very skill specific, which is something I love. So you can get really, really good at something, and it's also strategic as to how you place your teammates on the floor and what combinations as to how well they succeed. Something I really love about Aragon Volleyball is my teammates. We have like a pretty great team and everyone on our team is super cool. The energy that they give and the vibes that we like created together as a team. My team is just really kind of supportive of each other and we all build each other up while getting better. The fun rallies that we get into against our competitors. The feeling you get after you win the point. Yeah. It's, very, it's a good feeling. The coaches. The players and the fans. And it's really fun to be able to represent your school in a sport that you love. It's fun to see them grow, especially when you have, you know, you see the progression from maybe starting on the freshman team to the JV to the varsity um, and seeing them just embrace the whole aspect of playing as a team together. If you're interested in the sport, I say go for it. Like, it's been such a fun time playing for this team since freshman year, and I don't regret anything. <laughs> Come try out next year! Yeah! <laughs> Come to our senior night tonight at 6.15 against Hillsdale. And stay classy, Dons. Wow, I gotta go to more volleyball games. I know, right? Looks pretty cool. So Dons, make sure to go tonight at Aragon's North Gym to support our volleyball teams. In other news, freshmen can meet their link crew leaders at the center court today during lunch to decorate pumpkins for the Halloween festivities. Aragon is also celebrating Dia de los Muertos and honoring loved ones we've lost with an ofrenda. If you want to contribute to the ofrenda, please submit your pictures and items with your name and fourth period class labeled to Ms. Martinez's office in the Career and Counseling Office by tomorrow or send your pictures to this link. Remember to add school appropriate items, no items of value, and only non-perishable items. There will be a video with more information next week during live announcements. Also, next week, come to our Halloween rally on Friday, October 29th during lunch at Center Court. Make sure to dress up in your Halloween costumes and participate in our student costume contest and cheer for our faculty costume contest. Did you know our spirit store is coming back online tomorrow with some awesome items to choose from? If you didn't, make sure to check it out and buy some gear to show your school spirit. Wow, that's a great activity to go and check out, right Zeke? I know, right? Like the only activity I would make this perfect was like, uh, I don't know, if someone had their own website or something. Oh, well, do I have a surprise for you. Take it away, Zong! Hi, my name is Zong. I am a senior here at Aragon, and I am interviewed for my role at Asian Uplift. Our organization, at the height of the anti-Asian hate violence that has been occurring all over the world, admits the pandemic, and that is why we wanted to create our organization to help the Asian community. I actually co-founded this organization along with other Aragon students here. Our organization is here to provide sources for the Asian community, or not only the Asian community, but also for people who are interested in Asian-related topics. And we also just want to give back and promote civic engagement within the community as well. 
So through this organization, we would love to empower more Asian activism within this community because it is very much needed. Representation is so important. We want to inform all the communities on Asian related topics since it's so uh, unheard of here. Currently, we actually have projects regarding Asian people in the LGBT plus community, along with mental health in the Asian community as well. Um, I guess like one achievement that we had about Asian Uplift is that we successfully had a rally up in San Mateo City Hall in April during the, I would say probably the highest point of anti-Asian violence. And we actually rallied around, I would say two to 300 people and even were featured in the news. I think my favorite part is actually just kind of updating our website, AsianUplift.org, um, about the topics that are going around in the world. Because we're all busy as seniors right now, it's kind of hard to do so, but I still try my best and keep the website as updated as possible along with our social media. So follow us on Asian Uplift. Um, on Instagram and LinkedIn. We also have a YouTube channel where we have videos of our speeches from our rally that we had up in April at this San Mateo City Hall. And yeah. Glad to see Asian Uplift's hard work is paying off. Remember to go and check out their website and show your support. Wow, any other outside of school activities, Christos? I thought you'd never ask. Take it away, Traveling Abroad Program, CIEE. -E. Hi, my name is Amelia Salas. I am a Spanish teacher here at Aragon and also one of the CIEE liaisons. My name is Marlena and I am a senior at Aragon. I'm Zachary Peach and I am a junior at Aragon High School. My name is Rowan Kerry Clark and I'm a senior. CIEE means Council on International Educational Exchange. So the purpose is to bring high school and college students abroad to have them study. It provides a program where they do all the legwork, like get, help the kids get passports and visas, and they place students in various uh, programs throughout the world on most continents. I went to Sevilla, Spain, and I studied Spanish language and culture. So I went with CIE to Monteverde, Costa Rica and studied climate change and how climate change is affecting the region. I studied in Dublin, Ireland, um, and I studied leadership and social justice. I decided to study with CIEE because I thought it would be a great way to learn about a class that you can't really take at Aragon and also just a way to explore different cultures that are different than like America and like what we have here. And I wanted to see what the learning experience would be like um, in a different country. So the big con for me was during, co it was during COVID and so we were kind of limited to where we could go because other countries outside the U.S. don't have the same vaccination rates. It's really expensive to like pay for all that. Like it can be like thousands and thousands of dollars just to go on like a three or four week trip. But there are like ways that you can get scholarship money and mostly everyone like even if you don't think you'll qualify it's really good to apply for a scholarship anyways and that can really help like reduce that cost. I'd say the benefits are that you get to travel around the world by yourself and go to a brand new place and experience that with a bunch of other high schoolers. It would definitely be culture immersion and getting to meet people from all over the United States and you know make lifelong friends. I'd say it's a, it's a very good opportunity opportunity to go and explore the world. Studying abroad is a very good experience and immersing yourself culturally and meeting new people is a very good way to experience things. I can't recommend studying abroad enough so I hope you all embark on a trip with us next summer. If any are interested in this unique opportunity go talk to Ms. Salas in room 220. By the way seniors make sure to follow the class Instagram it's being updated with the latest news and activities you need to know. Also Dawn, homecoming is right around the corner and homecoming tickets are now available and are currently $30 and will rise $5 every week ending on November 4th. So if you're planning on going to homecoming, make sure to use the link found on Aragon Canvas to purchase your tickets. Lastly, Aragon Drama has an upcoming play, so let's check out a trailer to see what it's all about. Greetings from Aragon Drama. Got anything planned for Halloween weekend? How about some live theater for a change of pandemic pace? Agatha Christie's classic murder mystery, And Then There Were None, begins with a mysterious invitation to a group of ten perfectly imperfect strangers. Unable to resist the lure of a free summer vacation on a remote English island, they are all quickly met with the discovery that their millionaire host is not in attendance but the machinery of a mass murder is already in motion. When a lovely English summer afternoon turns into a frightening storm, 
trapping them all on an otherwise deserted island. Each guest is picked off one by one with gruesome imagination. Since the only innocent parties are the recently deceased, the living have no choice but to fear each other, the maniacal murderer. Evening performances are Thursday, October 28th through Saturday, October 30th, as well as one afternoon performance, Halloween Sunday. For tickets and information, go to aragondrama.com. Trick or treat. Thank you, me and Dane, for that trailer. And Dons, make sure to go check out the play at the link below. Well, that's it for today, Dons, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Christos Macropolis. And I'm Zeke Kastner. And remember to actually take it away, Nicole. And stay classy, Dons.